Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these defenses among the best in the country. Points and yards are extraordinarily hard to come by. So what does that mean for the offense? They have to be innovative, they have to be creative, and they have to be daring if they want to try to pick up chunk plays and move the ball in this game. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Stadium in Lexington, home with the University of Kentucky Wildcats. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Williams has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. Pruitt fields it at the three. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. throw out to the receiver. He's taken down right around the 34. Throws it in a hurry. Russell gains two yards with a short completion. Nice play there to move the chains and keep the drive rolling. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide outs. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. He goes out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down. That's the 44. That's a game in two on the makes it third and three. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle made right around the 38 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mathis gets it on the inside, and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. This is the 10th play of this drive. Let's go, heavy. Let's go, heavy. Let me know what you got. What you got, heavy? What you got, heavy? Ah! Ah! 
He's scrambling. Ball is loose. Fumble. They fall on it. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the defense. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. run to the outside. Wright's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. Second down and seven. Ball on the 34. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. Latimer picks him up around seven yards with that catch. The blitzer is coming in fast, but the quarterback stood his ground, found his receiver, and moved the chains. And it's almost picked off. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Wrong play, and the defense was ready for it. strike over the middle. Excellent open field tackle. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. the tailback and he's met in the backfield. That makes it second and ten. The Wildcats had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. That's a game of 16 in the ball. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Big play, and it's first and goal. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Tenth play of the drive. Dives for extra yardage. The back gets three on the carry. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. From the one-yard line, it's third down.
takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Bulldogs were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for Fresno State, their winning streak reaches five. Fresno State gets the win by four. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Crimson Tide. Alabama, Alabama gets set to kick this one away. Brooks has to return. He'll return it from the one. And he's tackled the 20-yard line. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at the 22-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. He fights forward to about the 23. strike and he can't pull it in and that will make it fourth down on third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the secondary Mason to punt gets to about the 47 yard line There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Alabama up seven points. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 43. at about the 41. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He gets rid of this one. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Battle is hoping to boom this one down the field. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Let's it go. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And they make the stop at about the 19-yard line. It's third and 11. Ball on the 19. He's under pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. The ball was underthrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. Hendricks is back to receive.
Hendricks. The fields at the 48, and down he goes at the 49-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Alabama is up by a touchdown. Right, left side. He makes his way to about the 38. First down. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That makes it second and ten. He's at the 30. He gets to about the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 27. Three down, three down. Check four, check four. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Gonna go across the middle, caught, and he's hit immediately. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout, and he tackles him hard at the 10. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. Alabama is up seven. Nice run up the middle. Alabama is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. They can't bring him down, and he's in. And he hits the PAT. It was an eight-play, 53-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 14-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to put the ball away. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Throws intercept. No, he dropped it. Thompson is the intended receiver on the way. That brings up third and ten. Slings it out there incomplete. Pruitt was the intended receiver on that pass. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Mason is waiting for the snap. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Alabama's offense, Kurt, maybe not what we were expecting today, but boy, do they have it working on the ground. All week long, we came into this game thinking the quarterback would be the one to make all the plays, but right now, it's been running the football, and it's working. 
They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He steps out at about the 37-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 37. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. He airs it out. Caught with room to work. to try to single out just one of them to stop. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Brooks from the six. He gets hit out of bounds at the 28. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He tackles him for a loss. So we've played two quarters. The Crimson Tide in front, 21-0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The paper, the stats, all the previews say this game should be even. It's not even at halftime. In fact, it looks as if this squad just got pushed around. They got bullied out here in the first half. Uh, one team's playing big boy football, the other team's playing peewee football. I mean, it's definitely been, it's been surprising to watch, but at some point, you just got to man up. I mean, you got to say enough's enough, and, and you got to respond because you had opportunities in the first half, and every single opportunity, big boy football kept winning. Some, you got The little guys got to make a play. I mean, you can only get pushed around so much and, and not respond to it. And right now, it's just been disappointing to watch. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He'll return it from the three. And he just got stood up right there. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. And off to the left. He's taken down at the 25. I think a corner loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game. So often they get labeled as just great athletes and they just want to be involved in the passing game and the being able to defend a receiver. Here you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And he's taken down at about the 35. First down. from their own 35-yard line. First down. He 
He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. My, my 40, my 40. Go. 629, go. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. From the 42 yard line. Second down. And he's tackled in the open field. Call it a gain of six yards. First down. From the 31 yard line. First down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And down he goes at the 18. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. From the 18 yard line, it's first down. Trying to get into the tight end, but it falls to the ground. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 15. Third down again. some steam on that throw. And he adds the extra point. Alabama lines up for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Alabama's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 29. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He scrambled. Tackle at the 31 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Stop behind the line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run.
He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defense has changed things up as they try to stop these guys. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That makes it first and ten. From the 41-yard line, first down. Alabama up by a big margin. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Let's go. Hey, hey, Mike 40, Mike 40. So at the end of the third quarter, the Crimson Tide in front, 28-0. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Four down, four down. Mike's, Mike's 40, Mike's 40. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Here go. Two, four, seven. Let's go. Two. Got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 26 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Lost the pass. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Mike right here. Mike. Here we go. 225. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 15 yard line. From the 15 yard line. First down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. That'll bring up second and three. Alabama comes to the line in complete control in this game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Brought down at about the three-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it first and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. rid of this one. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He makes the PAT. Williams gets it. 
it's set to kick this one away. Brooks takes it at the four. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Alabama's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And as a group of 11, they play like they know they're going to stop you. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. And he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That brings up second and nine. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 30. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30. Just under two minutes in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. Hopefully he's going to be okay. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They come out in a five-wide set. He might not be able to get the pass off. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. They've just been outmatched and outplayed this entire game. That pass was thrown with very little confidence, and it was an easy interception for the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They'll work the left side. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. This one is over. Alabama, 35. Kentucky, nothing. 
Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.